Since its release, Bridgerton has been a massive success for Netflix. Based on nine novels by Julia Quinn, the story follows the Bridgerton family and their eight children, each seeking marriage matches in British high society. This is what they have been trained for since birth. Which young ladies might succeed at securing a match? The first season came out in December 2020 and broke Netflix's viewing records, which is why people have so eagerly awaited the subsequent sequels. Season 2 was a smash hit as well, which has left fans around the world wondering when Season 3 will come out. That is why we will take a look at not only the potential release date, but everything that we know so far about the dazzling period romance, Bridgerton. Number 5. New Casting News It seems like Bridgerton will always have a problem keeping all of their stars in place. Because next season, Francesca Bridgerton, the sixth child in the Bridgerton family, has been recasted. Originally, Francesca was portrayed by Ruby Stokes, but she has opted out of her role as Francesca in order to appear in the upcoming Netflix show Lockwood & Company. In her place, Hannah Dodd will be taking over as Francesca. Hannah appeared in the Marvel movie Eternals as well as having a role in the Netflix miniseries Anatomy of a Scandal. Along with Hannah, Bridgerton family will be opening up to three new cast members. Daniel Francis will be playing the role of Marcus Anderson, who is one of those characters that you either love or hate, so we're sure that Marcus will create some fun interactions. Another member of the crew will be The Crown's Sam Phillips. Sam will be playing Lord Debling, who the ladies love and swoon after, but he's too busy with his usual interests. What are those interests? Well, you'll just have to tune in and see. We don't want to spoil everything. Lastly, James Foon will be playing Harry Dankworth, who is the typical all-brawn type of character. We're sure he'll be up for some fun times. And this is all the new casting news that we have so far, but we're sure in the coming months we might see a couple of new faces pop up. But before we move on, let us know if you like the new change and who are you most excited about seeing debut in the Bridgerton series. Number 4. What Happened in Season 2 now, before we speculate what will happen in Season 3, let's take a look at what did happen in the Bridgerton story so far. Season 2 was based on the book The Viscount Who Loved Me, and the story followed Lord Anthony Bridgerton, the eldest Bridgerton sibling, who was looking for someone's hand in marriage. Anthony courts Edwina Sharma, the younger sister of Kate Sharma, but ends up falling in love with Kate instead. Kate, meanwhile, is torn as she wants the best for her younger sister, but loves Anthony too. In the end, Edwina gives her blessing to her older sister and Kate and Anthony end up finding true love. Along with this, we saw the Featheringtons welcome a new heir to their family, which caused a lot of interesting problems. And of course, we cannot forget to mention Penelope, whose secret was found out by her best friend, and Penelope was left heartbroken after her one and only crush said some not too friendly things about her. You're courting the girl, Bridget. Uh, are you mad? I would never dream of courting Penelope Featherington, not in your wildest fantasies, Fife. <laughs> <laughs> All of these plot lines seem that they will roll on into season three, as the second one ended with many questions and intriguing moments. So tell us what your favorite moment from last season was, and was there anything you wish the characters had done differently? Number three, what to expect in season three. First of all, the previous showrunner, Chris Van Dusen, will be stepping aside for Jess Brownell to take the help. Maybe this is why Netflix announced that the show will not be following the book series to a T, but rather from this point onward, the show will pick and choose different plot lines from different books in the series to create each season. Now, with that being said, the news that's come out is that the upcoming season will focus on Penelope, otherwise known as Lady Whistledown, who acts as the narrator of the story and her potential love interest from the previous series, Colin Bridgerton. Now, fans of the show will know that Penelope lives a double life in the series, acting both as a high member of the British society and as the anonymous writer Lady Whistledown, who writes gossip stories about all the messiness that goes on inside the ladies and lords inner circle. My name is Lady Whistledown. You do not know me, but I know you. Last season, she was heartbroken after overhearing Colin saying deprecating words about her so now she's determined to find a new love, someone who will allow her to keep pursuing her writing career. While Colin Bridgerton realizes what he has lost as Penelope was the only one who truly liked him for who he was, so he is now on a mission to win her back. This results in an odd pairing as the two like each other, and yet Colin is set to help Penelope find a husband that she desires. 
Now, apart from this messy and interesting situation, Season 3 will also have several subplots. There is the whole friendship quarrel between Penelope and Eloise, who learned that Penelope was Lady Whistledown and felt betrayed by her friend. It seems as if this will be a focal point in the next season, as the two friends will either have to mend their relationships, or Penelope will have to deal with the consequences of Eloise revealing her hidden identity to the rest of the world. So what do you guys think about this plot? What do you like or even dislike? Go ahead and comment down below. Number 2. Who will be in the next season? Ever since season 1 star Rajon Page called it quits after one season, fans have always been curious about who will actually come back and who will not. It is hard to make deep connections with characters if they up and disappear after just one season. So we're sure that Bridgerton's production has found better ways to keep their stars happy and committed for the foreseeable future. Speaking of which, season 2 stars Jonathan Bailey, who played Anthony Bridgerton, and Simone Ashley, who played Kate Sharma, they are both set to return for next season. When asked, Simone Ashley had the following to say about her role in the upcoming season. We're going to be back. Kate and Anthony are just getting started. I'd like to see Kate just let go a bit more and play more in season 3 and kind of swim in that circle of love together. I think they both deserve it. She would go on to say that perhaps a baby will be coming for the two of them in the show. I'm excited to see Kate become Viscountess and head of the household. I think she has much to learn from Anthony. They'll be two little partners. I'd love to see them have a baby, to put it simply. Maybe that will happen, maybe it won't. So it seems like another subplot for next season will be how the two newly in love couple deal with their relationship problems. Perhaps the return of Ashley also signals a return of her younger sister in the show, Charithra Chandrit. The Indian family brought a refreshing and new look to the typical British period set, so hopefully we can continue seeing fresh looks and different perspectives moving forward as well. And of course, we already know fan favorites like Nicola Coughlin, Adoja Ando, Luke Newton, and Claudia Jesse will be reprising their roles among others. So who are you most excited to see back in your lives again? Let us know down below. Number 1. When will Season 3 come out? Due to the worldwide love that Bridgerton has received, Netflix announced in 2021 that not only will the series be renewed for a third season, but a fourth as well. That just goes to show you the fanfare behind the popular Netflix series. So the big question is, when will Season 3 actually premiere? Well, first let's take a look at the release trend of the show. Season 1 came out on Christmas of 2020, however the pandemic caused several problems with production and filming for Season 2, which didn't premiere until March 25th of 2022. However, it is unlikely that fans of the show will have to wait as long for the third installment as Season 3 has already begun filming in London. This puts the show on track to be released either in the spring or summer of 2023. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new one. With that being said, you just watched us break down all the news about Bridgerton's upcoming season. We'll see you next time.